tomatoes are high value foods. And as you do with high value food, like good red wines, for example, store it in the right way. Don't put it into a fridge. Because if you once start putting tomatoes in the fridge, the development of the taste is interrupted. The tomato is one of the most favored crops that is grown all over in Europe in open and protected field conditions and in greenhouses. Mm. Mm, really tasty, mm, but there are restrictions and future challenges for tomato farmers, such as limited resources of phosphorus, nitrogen, and water that are resource expensive and impacts the environment. And there, the Thomas Project steps in. So the overall goal of the project is to reduce nitrogen and phosphorus application by 20% while uh, the water application shall be reduced by 40%. So the Thomas project is divided into six different uh, working groups. So we've got first of all the tomato group which is uh, here selecting specific tomato lines which are appropriate for growing under stress conditions as well as well waters and well nutrified conditions. So Jan, so these are your tomato babies <laughs> for the next grafting experiment yes, within exactly. Tomaris? We are selecting from the big, big amount of something like 40,000 tomato accessions we have worldwide. Um, and we're trying to, to bring this huge amount down to 200, 250 lines we can really screen in Tomaris within the project. And we do that um, with different working groups across Europe, basically. The Novel Trade Group, which is concentrating on focusing on plant hormones, which are important, so root exudates, for example, as well as on the root structure, which is important, uh, to find new traits for resilience. The Crop Management Group, so they are concentrating on management strategies, improved management strategies, for example, uh, intercropping, grafting, scissions and rootstocks, which are important for that. So maybe one plant has a better rootstock, but less yield, while another one is yielding better, but has a low root architecture. So the combination might be of interest for uh, growers to collect all the information so that they can predict which yield might be come up under specific growing conditions as well as vice versa which line would be the most appropriate for specific growing conditions what we like to what we try to do in uh, in neurath is produce our tomatoes with a carbon footprint of zero and looking for opportunities to improve the tomato in general uh, in terms of quality uh, taste specially taste responsible uh, working with resources we are interested in any change so if there is a new variety developed with a better yield or better traits or simply less usage of fertilizers for example it is really welcome for us the communication group which is collecting all the information from the experimental groups to ensure an effective exchange of information beside the scientific publication to post some messages on your website mm -hmm. to use social media and you could also send it via a newsletter so with current outcomes but also the general public and politics and all the stakeholders what i like a lot is that we as plant scientists really get a better understanding now of like the interactions between the genes of the plant and then what we can actually see in the greenhouse. So which gene affects what in, in real life. And then also, well, how that affects traits like yield and food quality that are interesting for, well, for all of us and for farmers. Well, we are really looking forward when we are curious of the, about the outcome of the, uh, of the project and really yeah. looking forward to new varieties with less demand on anything because resources for the future will be very important. The farmer who is producing certain food, and he should talk about the reason why he is doing that, the opportunities um, he is looking for, and the challenges he is facing in the market. And uh, that is quite interesting. So remind the people what is, what is going on in, in an interesting farming production. And it's such, an, such a positive message you can bring over to the consumers. Mm. So, and Simone, next time a supermarket 
and you, if, if you look at such a fantastic product, remember that it's mostly too cheap in the supermarkets. <laughs> that would be a great help for growers. <laughs>